We all know that the private DNS setting on our Android phone can block almost all ads on all third-party apps, games and websites with the appropriate DNS hostname. To enable it, you need to go to the settings, connections, more connection settings and then private DNS settings. If you find this process long, then get this nifty app to add the configured private DNS hostname to the quick settings panel so you can enable and disable it with a single tap. This comes in handy if you need to enable and disable private DNS often like me. It's a handy tool but you need Shizuku to run this app and setting it up is pretty easy. If you don't know what Shizuku is, it acts as a medium between your non-rooted Android device and some apps that require either root access or ADB commands. With Shizuku, you can use such apps without rooting your phone. This is how to activate Shizuku easily without a computer. After installing the app from the Play Store, allow the required permissions and enable the developer options on your phone. Now launch the Shizuku app and tap on pairing and developer options. Now find the wireless debugging option and enable it. Then tap on it and click on the pair device with the pairing code option. Type in this pairing code in the notification that says pairing service found. After this, you should see the pairing successful message. Now go back to the Shizuku app and hit start. Let it run its code and return to the home screen automatically. After all this, you should see the Shizuku is running message at the top. Now to enable Shizuku apps, go to the authorized apps menu and enable the apps you want. It's that simple, but remember, you'll have to do this after every time your phone dies or restarts. Moving on to the next tool, which is Taco Stats. It's a nifty app that lets you monitor your device's vital stats, such as the frame rate of the app that's currently in use, CPU utilization, frequency, the temperature of the battery and your device, download and upload speed and more as an overlay on any app. You can choose the stats you want to monitor and adjust the position of the overlay to your preference. What makes this app different from other stats apps is that the stats can also be recorded for selected apps such as intense games so you can compare and analyze their stats and resource consumption later. Plus, you can have a quick setting style of the service to enable and disable it quickly. So try the trial version for a few minutes and upgrade if you are a power user. If you hate it when any web link you click on your phone gets opened on the default browser, then this app is for you. Linksheet brings back the Android 11's app chooser for you to choose in which app you'd like to open the link. You get these options whenever you tap on any web link on any app. You can then choose the browser to open the link. It's easy to use and handy if you don't like to open every web link you click on your phone in one browser all the time. The bottom sheet can also be customized to show the options you want as you can see. This simple app lets you change your network carrier name on any Android device without root. You can change your SIM card network name to anything with the app as you can see. If you want the old carrier names back, tap the reset button. The app can also override the ISO code of your SIM card. This comes in handy to spoof your location to region locked apps. Anywhere is a universal shortcut app that you can use to create shortcuts for the internal activities of any app. For instance, you can have a shortcut to change your WhatsApp profile picture on the home screen, tapping on which will take you directly to the WhatsApp profile settings. To set a shortcut to an activity, tap on the plus button, activities list, Choose your desired app, select any activity that you perform often and tap this play button to check if it's working. If yes, then tap this button to add it as a shortcut. Likewise, you can have shortcuts to pretty much any activity of any app but not all of them may work without root access. The best part is that you can have these shortcuts on the quick settings panel instead of making a mess on the home screen. So those are a few useful apps for Shizuku. I hope the video was informative, like the video and comment down appreciating it if it was and subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos. Thanks for watching.